Well, good day, Glav here. Welcome back and thanks for checking back in. And if you haven't subscribed already, do us a favour and please do. This ride was just shy of 3,000 kilometres, five days, four nights. On this ride, there was myself, Dave, John, Valerio, and Greg. Greg bought my old CVO Harley, um, and we had some taggers on here and there. It was a great ride, four nights. First night in Theodore, up in the Queensland coal fields. Second night, we go across to Bar Calden through Emerald. Third night, we head down and we head out to Longreach and we attend the Stockman's Hall of Fame, which is just fantastic. And Dave did the Qantas Museum while we were doing the Stockman's Hall of Fame. And down into Windora, which is a very remote town with a population less than about 70 people. It was a great night's stay. Then from there on the fourth night across to Morven where we watched the grand final on the NRL and then from Morven home on the final day. Great ride, the Queensland country side never ceases to amaze me how desolate and interesting it can be. But why just Queensland? Well, same shit, different day, our idiot Premier still got us locked down. Go figure, eh? Anyway, hope you enjoy the video as much as we enjoyed the ride. Happy days. Start of the trip, I'm heading out of Brisbane towards Black Soil where I'm going to meet the boys, about a 30k run. Um, not much to say on this bit. We're about 20 kilometres outside of Black Butt. This is a beaut bit of motorcycling road, this. The only thing is it's 60 kilometres an hour, so the trick here is, guess what? Don't get caught. Just rolling into Blackbutt for a bit of morning tea at our favourite bakery. They make the best pies here. Won't be able to stick to the diet today. Have to have one of those. Happy days. This is our health food for the day. A meat pie. Dave's being extra special and precious with a feta and spinach pie. What are you having, Kev? Sausage roll. Sausage roll. Thank you. Yummy, yeehaw. Christ almighty, what have I done? Bloody gravel road, dirt again. Friggin' Google Maps shows this is all bitumen. What the f no idea how long this dirt's going to go for. The boys behind me will be absolutely spitting chips, and rightly so. Fuck, I hope it doesn't rain, otherwise we'll be history. Done about 40 k's on this shit already. It's as slippery as hell. I checked friggin' Google Maps, every, every corner on Google Maps, and it was all bitumen. Looks like that was my mistake. Corners are bitumen. There's only about three corners. If I suspect I've got another 40 or 50 or 60 kilometers to go of this shit. <laughs> Five of us now. Um, my Indian Challenger, my old uh, Harley CBO Limited, Dave's Heritage, Johnny's Beamer, and the Spaceship Valkyrie. Uh, this is the Krakow Pub. Used to be owned by Fred Brophy. You know, he used to run the boxing tent tours. Cool. I asked for a coffee, they didn't have coffee, so oh well, had to have a rum instead. Pretty cool old pub, this one. There you go. There you go. 
fucking derelict. This trip, we've got Greggy, Johnny, Precious, say hello, hello Precious, how are you today? <laughs> Davey, how are you after? <laughs> and me, of course. We are just leaving the little town of Cracker where we just stopped at the pub. There's a massive gold mine out here on the right with tailings, dams, and quarters, but you can tell this friggin' mining company confines all their miners to the camp and invest absolutely zero back into the town. Bloody shameful. We've just fueled up. So we're staying at the pub tonight. Just, just heading to the pub. I don't know where it is, but it's down here somewhere, we're told. Hotel Theodore. So the bikes are filthy dirty after I led everyone down a merry path of 100 kilometres of the worst dirt road you've ever seen. This is our twin chair room for the night, about, I think it was 135 bucks for the night. It's okay, bikers night out. Uh, we're going to the pub for dinner. 575 k's today and about six and three quarter hours in the saddle. It would have been a great ride, except for the 100 k's of dirt that some wanker let us down. Oh shit, that's right, it'd be me. <laughs> Happy days. Well, it's the start of day two. Severe storm warnings. It's pissed down rain all night. It's very, very wet. Okay, that's life in motorcycling, as I always say. I guess we better put the wets on and get on with it. So we've decided we might wait half an hour to try and let the intensity of the rain uh, come down a bit before we head off. It's friggin' pissing down. We're heading from Theodore to Maurer. Don't know how long it's going to rain for. Christ almighty, I didn't see that coming. Wet now. The lads and I are on the Maurer to Springshore run in the Lower Bowen Basin. This is the start of the Southern Bowen Basin coal mining area. Pretty straight run, this. Who would have believed it? We stopped at Springshore, took the wets off. We've got three hours to ride to friggin' Bar Calden, where we're going to stop for the night and it sides to piss down again. We pulled up in Alpha for a fuel and a drink. That was one quick run. Did about 170 kilometers in an hour 20. We were certainly motivated. It's getting later in the day and we still got about 150 clicks to go. We're rolling into Bar Calden. This place is famous for the foundation of the Australian Labor Party. Up here on the right in that big square timber box, you'll see the Tree of Knowledge. Um, <laughs> the only problem is the tree's friggin' dead, just like the principles of the Labor Party it uh, represents. Unfortunately for the Labor Party, they no longer uh, respect and represent the working class people of this country, they just bow down to the Greens and the friggin' minorities. Shameful. Rolling into the famous outback town of Longreach. On the left up here, we're going to have the Stockman's Hall of Fame, and on the very opposite side of the road, we've got the Qantas Museum. We'll be visiting there later. So here we are, Stockman's Hall of Fame. 
And right across the road there you can see the tail of the uh, Qantas Jumbo 747, which is where Dave's going to the Qantas Museum. Very cool spots. If you ever get the chance in Australia to come to these two places, it's really worthwhile. So we're inside the Stockman's Hall of Fame. Uh, we did the full McCoy. The price of the ticket was 68 Aussie dollars. So you get a movie for that, and then you float around the museum, and then you go to the Stockman show after. So we should be done and dusted by 12 o'clock, which is perfect timing for us to get back on the road again. The expansion of the Stockman Street was a driving force. We made it across the Blue Mountains in 1813, revealing the vast. wandering down to the next part of the experience at the Stockman's Hall of Fame which is the Stockman show. Don't know how touristy this is going to be but we'll check it out and see. Okay again everybody, my name is Lockie Coster, I'm a third generation Stockman and I'd like to welcome you all into the Australian Stockman's Hall of Fame and Outback Heritage Centre. We've got a beautiful show lined up here, we're going to do a bit of horsemanship, a bit of heritage stuff, we're going to work some livestock later on and hopefully have a bit of fun along the way. Now the whip, I'll be broken into the whip very early on. I should be able to back my whip all around the horse, go so side to the horse and behind the horse, without the horse getting hot or scared up. It'll be a side pass. I'm going to stand him up here, tip his head out of the circle there a little bit, and then just push him across my spur. Now spurs often get a bad rap, but spurs are actually more used for direction than speed. Uh, just a pinpoint of spot there, so I can manoeuvre my horse across. Now the side pass itself, I use a lot around the yards, getting over next to a wild horse. Now, stock horse for the day. The neck is long and arched with the head well set on. The withers should be well defined. Now, rumour has it back in 1872 uh, that Gleason um, Sculpey was a dingo. It was taboo to have anything to do with the dingo back then, so it was never really mentioned out loud. Brahmin cattle actually make up a bit over 50% of Australia's whole breed. And I think the biggest reason they brought them over was their great resistance to the uh, hot weather. They do very well in the hot climates, uh, so northern Australia really suits the. Um, the brown and green. Well, good day, it's Dave here. We're just looking at the uh, Qantas's founding museum out here at Longreach today. It's just the outside area. Got an old hangar, original hangar, I'd say. Here and all the aircraft displays. 747. I'm going to do a wing walk on that today. All right, here we are inside the. Um, the main building in the museum, a lot of uh, aviation history, lots of stuff to see here, um, and some interactive stuff. This is one of the outdoor exhibits, it's a Catalina flying boat. Yeah. When we turn on our engines, we always start at number three and go one, two, four. Um, this little wing at the back here, its technical name is the pay.
This narrow, desolate bit of road is taking us from Longreach to Stonehenge. Very desolate, but interesting at the same time. A um, lot of, <laughs> many people would argue not a lot to see, but it's interesting. I've got to tell you, you need a lot of land up here to feed just a few cattle. So the properties are big. Rolling into the little country town of Stonehenge. Given the name of Stonehenge, we thought we just had to stop here. And of course, if we're going to stop anywhere, we'll stop at the pub. Had to check it out. Holy crap. Have a look at this. Herd of cattle running straight across the road in front of Valeria. Bloody lucky. So it's not only kangaroos, not only emus, but cattle as well. I'm coming into the little town of Windora where we'll be staying the night. Population of this joint apparently is 66. We're staying at the Western Star Hotel. Given I used to work at Western Star, I just thought, given the name, I had to stay there. <laughs> Good morning, day four start. It's just after seven. We've had a bacon and egg roll and a coffee. Uh, we're in Wundora about to head off. There's nothing now for the next 240 or 50 kilometres uh, until we hit Quilpy. Um, happy days. So Johnny's about to put his helmet back on and there's hundreds of little spiders all over his seat and in his helmet. Now he's panicking. Oh, there's one. There's one. Just crawled over. It's just gone inside. <laughs> it's going to be an interesting ride. This is some more really desolate country here from Windora down to the next little town of Quilpie. Hundreds of kilometres of nothing. I really hope on this single lane shit we don't meet a truck coming the other way. Let's just say our speed is extremely motivated to knock this bit of road over. Well, we're arriving at our last night's accommodation in the little town of Morven. We've been through this bloody joint many times but never stayed here. Tonight we'll be going to the pub, of course, where the grand final rugby league will be on. So not a bad night, sitting at a pub watching the footy final. We've just stopped for a final coffee and our final yak at um, Gatton. We're on the last 100k home now. I'm not hanging around. See you later, boys. See you on the next one. What a fantastic trip, lads. Thanks again. As I always say, people, life can be ever so short. Therefore, live life today.